a do rag wisdom here and it's 19 days since the coup d'etat that turned our country over to the maggots and uh, today I'm going to explain myself to the seven uh, folks who are subscribing to me and to anybody else who happens to tune in I mean, I've explained myself before, and sometimes, and, and sometimes I'm going to repeat myself because you know these some of these broadcasts, and I don't mean to do that. But then again, since I'm a doddering old person, I guess you would expect me to repeat and repeat. Um, but I owe it to my uh, the viewers out there who and who subscribe to me. I owe it to anyone. To, to give them as much of an explanation as possible about how I think or why I believe what I do. Because frankly, if, I'm, if I don't explain myself, some people think, oh man, this guy's flipping crazy. Well, I am crazy. I mean, uh, you know, after living, uh, living on this planet for 66 years and putting up with all the bullshit, I'm surprised that, uh, that I'm not even crazier. But... I don't know. It must be. It must be my love of horror, science fiction. Those that kind of. That, I mean, that's kept me going. You know, <laughs> imagination. I guess. I don't know. Uh, but today I'm going to give you an explanation. I did prepare some notes, not a script. Some notes because I prefer to talk extemporaneously with with all that entails. Because sometimes. Uh, I may I may say a wrong word or I may <laughs> I mean it's funny sometimes but you know I prefer to speak from my gut I prefer to speak off the cuff unscripted if I can to be as sincere as I can to anyone seeing this uh, before I and in terms of the notes that I prepared that's just to help me identify certain key points I want to make in this video and to explain to give you know when you when I say something like it was a coup I always say it's a coup I always say the election is rigged uh, I want to explain what I mean by that uh, when I say that this new this new turd that's been uh, flushed into the uh, Oval Office is a racist uh, psychopath I have to be able to show concretely I have to be able to show examples of why I think the way I do I mean that's what you gotta do you can't just say it's a coup now the examples I'm gonna give may not <laughs> so what you know that's nothing you know that's not a real example well that's as far as I can go at this point and uh, but I want to be as honest about that as I can you see this hat I'm wearing? It's a cowboy hat. Remember, I one time, one a previous video, I said I, you know, I make fun of these cowboy hat wearing crackers, right? Who voted for this Nazi? And I said I like cowboy hats too, and I do. And uh, I'll never forget one of the, one of the Nazi rallies for this this uh, for the for this creature that got just got uh, got uh, falsely elected. Uh, a cowboy hat wearing cracker elbowed uh, uh, a black protester on his way being carried, uh, being out. He's a guy that went out and went like, oh, like that. I will never forget that. I will never, ever forget that image. I, if my thoughts could kill, if my thoughts could kill, that cowboy hat wearing racist cracker would be dead in the worst pain right now you could imagine, okay? Fortunately for him, my thoughts can't kill. And that, for me, partially sums up the, the, the Adolf Trumpler campaign. The campaign of evil, hate, right-wing extremism like you're never going to see before. Okay. But I still like cowboy hats. But I certainly will never tolerate, will never countenance any racist turd to hurt another black person in my watch. And who the hell am I? I'm nobody, man. I'm just an asshole on the street. I'm someone using YouTube to get my message across. Non-celebrity. 
as much as I love the movies and I know as much about them, I have a, I have like, what, 3,000 titles in my collection. I'm not gonna vote for a movie star, a celebrity. Frankly, I didn't like it. I never watched that creep show because one, I hate him. Two, I hate the boss. Three, I hate the boss, the mean boss that fires everybody. And now the, the, the idiots of this country, I'm talking about the idiots who voted for him because of his hate, not the ones in spite, because of his hate, we got this hate monger running our, uh, <laughs> gonna run our country into the ground. First of all, let me say that I will always, this is from my notes, I will always despise uh, Adolf Trumpler no matter what he does because he reminds me at the base, the base of the bullies from, uh, from my, uh, my school days. The entitled, hateful bullies, okay? Uh, it's just like, it's like, Dealing with bullies was brutal for me. So, uh, when I see this guy, I flash back to those days. So, I'm never, I don't care what he does, even if he legalizes marijuana, I'm always going to hate that prick's guts, okay? So, I just want you to be, I want to be honest about that. All right. First of all, I believe that this uh, thing was, a, was rigged because, and I have it written here, there's voter suppression going on. There's gerrymandering going on. You got in the Democratic Party, the superdelegate process, which eliminated Bernie Sanders. You got these creepy uh, uh, political advisors or uh, operators like uh, Wasserstuppen Schitz and all those other people. Uh, usually, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, the, the desire of the voter, the anticipation of the voter from the Democrats was built but then destroyed when they brought in this uh, right-wing conservative who, who instead of putting a, vi a VP progressive with her, she said, uh, F you to the, to the progressives and put in a, a middle-of-the-road-to-the-right uh, religious person. Okay. Uh, I believe that the fact that uh, the FBI got involved with this, with that, I felt that that was part of this uh, process of the coup. And voter suppression. Uh, I believe the fact that the, that voting in it should is not an election day. I mean, not a, a, a holiday. Excuse me, election day is election day. That the election day is a uh, not a national holiday is another thing that I feel is a part of this rigged election system. I mentioned the FBI, the Fascist Bureau of Intimidation. Uh, okay. And now we have this piece of garbage who I will never call president, never, because he will never be able to walk back what I saw him do, including, uh, uh, uh. okay? First of all, he's a racist turd. Adolf Trumpler is a racist turd because he has a Jeff Sessions involved. He's an anti-Semitic turd because he's got a Steve Bannon involved. He's an Islamophobic, hating, Islamophobic turd because he has an M. Flynn involved. He has picked aides and cabinet members that will alternately destroy, I mean, uh, will destroy our public schools. The economy, he's got a bankruptcy expert for his for our economy. He's got a he's got a voucher asshole for our public schools. He's got someone who doesn't know a goddamn thing about our environment for the environment. He is filling his cabinet. Oh, and he has a VP who is a homophobic religious extremist. So this is for me. The Nazi Trump administration, the Nazi KK, Christian extremist terrorist, Trump administration. Okay? This is what this, I mean, this is what he's showing me. The fact that Hillary Clinton has two million more of the popular vote 
is good enough for me. I do not recognize the legal electoral college. Trump is a has encouraged violence, he's a sexual predator, he's a thief, he's a liar, he's a coward. Now I understand that this is a totally legal election. I hope they do a recount, whatever it is, according to the law, whatever it is. But I am a minority of one, and I understand that. And I have lived long enough on this planet and experienced enough of the crap and garbage of this planet and what human apes, ape, naked apes do to each other to know that we made a big mistake that we're going to pay for. And this is why I hate Trump. This is why I think the election is rigged. And if you don't agree, I'm not a Trumpist. You have a right to your opinion and to human dignity. May the goddess help us all.